hi students hope you all are fine and doing good with your business studies lectures so students we are again here for a further discussion of our the topic which was remained incomplete that is a formation of a company this topic is also very lengthy topic because it includes a series of three important steps that is promotion of a company incorporation of a company and lastly the capital subscription or commencement of a business so be prepared for it this is also a very important phase as far as company's formation is concerned in promotion we had decided that what actions what plans are there to form a company by the promoters in incorporation certain documents and legal formalities are to be fulfilled by promoters to get the company registered and as far as our private company is concerned a private company can start its business immediately as it gets certificate of incorporation but as far as public company is concerned it cannot commence its business it cannot start its business until unless it obtains a certificate of commencement of बिजनेस जब तक उसे इस थर्ड स्टेप को पूरा करने के बाद सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ कमेंसमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस नहीं मिल जाता एक पब्लिक कंपनी अपने बिजनेस को शुरू नहीं कर सकती सो आफ्टर द कंपनी इज इनकॉर्पोरेटेड द नेक्स्ट स्टेज फॉर द पब्लिक कंपनी इज टू रेज द नेसेसरी कैपिटल अब कैपिटल भी तो चाहिए बिजनेस को चलाने के लिए सो इन ऑर्डर टू रेज फंड a public company can issue shares and debentures to the public a public company ke liye koi bhi kisi tarah ki restriction nahi hai ki wo apne shares ko kahan se khareede to in that situation public can offer for issuing its shares to the public ये शेयर्स भी इशू कर सकती है और डिवेंचर्स भी इशू कर सकती है प्राइवेट कंपनी के केस में ऐसा नहीं है इसीलिए वो फर्स्ट टू स्टेप्स के पूरा होते ही अपने बिजनेस को शुरू कर सकती है सो फॉर अरेंजमेंट ऑफ कैपिटल बाय अ पब्लिक कंपनी इट हैज टू इशू अ प्रोस्पेक्टस नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइज वट इज दिस प्रोस्पेक्टस प्रोस्पेक्टस सिंपली मीन्स अ नोटिस सर्कुलर एंड एडवर्टीजमेंट विच गिवस all the detailed information regarding purchase of shares to the public so by issuing prospectus it can invite general public to purchase its shares or debentures but for this it has to follow certain steps and what are these steps we are to discuss now first of all sebi approval जैसे ही इसे अगर अपनी कंपनी को शेयर्स को पब्लिक से प्रपोज करना है तो इन दैट सिचुएशन इट हैज़ टू गेट अप्रूवल फ्रॉम सैबी नो व्हाट इज़ दिस सैबी सैबी मीन्स सिक्योरिटी एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया व्हिच इज़ द रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी इन स्टॉक एक्सचेंजेस द बेसिक पर्पज ऑफ दिस अथॉरिटी इज टू प्रोटेक्ट द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द इन्वेस्टर्स so if the company proposes to raise capital from general public by the way of issuing shares or debentures then a draft prospectus has to be submitted to sebi so it simply means prior approval from sebi is compulsory before going ahead with raising funds from public public se funds lene se pehle sebi se approve karwana wo bahut zaruri hai kisi bhi public company ke liye now next is filing of prospectus or statement in lieu of prospectus prospectus i had told you that it is a document which invites funds from the public now a statement in lieu of prospectus is prepared when public company is confident of raising funds from private sources agar company puri tarah se vishwast hai ki wo private sources se apne funds ko arrange kar deti hai to wo a statement in lieu of prospectus prepare karti hai so a copy of this prospectus or statement in lieu of prospectus is to be filed with the registrar of the companies so these two documents are to be filed before registrar 
the next is appointment of bankers brokers and underwriters raising funds from public is a complicated activity it is not a simple task to get the funds from public ki humne chaha hame logon se funds lene hain to hum jayenge aur log hamari appeal par hame funds de denge it is not that much easy job it is a complex task so in order to ease the process is process ko aasan karne ke liye experts are appointed and these experts include bankers brokers and underwriters so what do bankers do they receive and deposit the application money wo paisa receive karte hain aur us paise ko jama kara dete hain brokers distribute the application forms and encourage and encourage the public to subscribe the shares wo logon ko aur encourage karte hain jisse log zyada se zyada shares ko purchase kare where is the third name uh, underwriters so underwriters are basically appointed if the company is not sure of receiving minimum subscription of shares public se agar wo kam se kam shares ke liye bhi एप्लीकेशंस आए उसके लिए कॉन्फिडेंट नहीं है तो वो उस काम को पूरा करने के लिए अंडर को अपॉइंट करते हैं नाउ प्लीज नोट डाउन द मीनिंग ऑफ मिनिमम सब्सक्रिप्शन मीनिंग मिनिमम सब्सक्रिप्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू इंडियन कंपनीज एक्ट इज बेसिकली द लिमिट ऑफ द मिनिमम सब्सक्रिप्शन इज फिक्सड At 90% of the size of the issue, ऑफ द इशू जितना इशू किया गया उसका नाइन्टी परसेंट दैट इज इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से एज पर द गाइडलाइंस ऑफ सेबी दैट इज सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया अ कंपनी मस्ट रिसीव अ मिनिमम ऑफ नाइन्टी परसेंट सब्सक्रिप्शन अगेंस्ट द एंटायर इशू बिफोर मेकिंग any allotment of shares to the public public ko shares ko allot karne se pehle kam se kam unke paas 90% jinhone issue kiya hai uska hissa aa jana chahiye so this is about minimum subscription so underwriters undertake to buy the shares if these are not subscribed by the public agar log application lekar un shares ko nahi khareed rahe to underwriters jo hain wo khud hi un shares ko le lete hain but they receive a commission for the same so whether the underwriters should be appointed or not it is depending upon the will of the company company chahe to unhe appoint kar sakti hai company na chahe to अपॉइंट नहीं कर सकती क्योंकि ये डिपेंड करता है कंपनी की अपनी इच्छा के ऊपर बेसिकली अगर वो कॉन्फिडेंट है कि जितने शेयर्स वो मार्केट में इशू करेंगे लोग सब शेयर्स के लिए एप्लीकेशंस देंगे देन दे डोंट अपॉइंट अंडर राइटर्स बट व्हेन दे आर नॉट श्योर इनफ दैट एंटायर ऑफर एंटायर सब्सक्रिप्शन विल बी मेड फिजिबल इन एन ईजी मैनर सो दे अपॉइंट अंडर राइटर्स for the same and the process of appointing underwriters to ensure the minimum subscription of capital is known as underwriting and the underwriters charge a commission that commission is known as underwriting commission so in this point we have got four new things that is underwriters underwriting underwriters uh, commission and meaning of minimum subscription and next part is minimum subscri- subscription which we have discussed jo hum discuss kar hi chuke hain so before starting the business every public limited company should raise minimum must raise a minimum subscription in order to avoid shortage of funds unko funds ki shortage na rahe future mein isliye wo minimum subscription ko uh, ko raise karte hain next is application to stock exchange a public company must get itself listed or quoted in a stock exchange before starting selling the securities to the public ab ye shares or debentures in securities bhi kaha jata hai inko bechne se pehle public company ko apne aap ko desh ke kisi kisi bhi stock exchange mein register ya list karwana zaruri hai for this company has to make an application in at least one stock exchange to get the permission permission lene ke liye kam se kam kisi ek stock exchange par ek application deni zaruri hai 
if the company doesn't get permission within 10 weeks from the date of closure of subscription list then the allotment will become void and all money received from the applicants will have to returned within 80 days agar company ko permission nahi di स्टॉक एक्सचेंज ने तो जो उनकी जो उन्होंने शेयर्स को अलॉट करना था वो नहीं हो पाएगा और इस तरह से जिन्होंने एप्लीकेशंस के समय पैसा दिया उनका पैसा 80 डेज के अंदर अंदर उन शेयर होल्डर्स को वापस कर दिया जाएगा नेक्स्ट इज अलॉटमेंट ऑफ शेयर्स जैसे ही शेयर मार्केट में दैट इज स्टॉक एक्सचेंज में कंपनी का नाम लिस्ट हो जाता है company makes allotment of shares but strictly as per the guidelines which are laid by sebi till the time shares are allotted application money received is required to remain in a separate bank account jo application money unhe receive hui thi shareholder se share ki application ke time usko alag se bank account mein rakhna hai aur company uska use nahi karegi Allotment letters are issued to the successful allottees. ऐसे allotment, ऐसे shareholders जो उन shares वो shares जिन्हें allot हो गए हैं उनको allotment letters मिल जाएंगे The company returns the application money. ऐसे shareholders को ऐसे persons को जिनके shares उन्हें allot नहीं किए गए उनका application money उन्हें वापस कर दिया जाता है So this is the process of getting certificate of commencement of business so when all these formalities are fulfilled then the registrar of companies will issue a certificate of commencement of business and such a certificate is really a conclusive evidence or proof that a company is entitled to commence its business operations jaise hi certificate of commencement ऑफ बिजनेस मिलता है कंपनी अब अपने बिजनेस को करने के लिए तैयार हो जाती है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट स्टेप्स टू बी फॉलोड इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ कंपनी सो स्टूडेंट्स बी स्पेसिफिक व्हेन यू आर आस्क्ड टू स्टेट द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ए कंपनी देन कीप इन माइंड दीज आर थ्री बेसिकली फर्स्ट इज प्रमोशन सेकेंड इज इनकॉर्पोरेशन एंड थर्ड वन इज commencement of a business and when you are asked to explain the steps involved separately that is in the process of promotion to promotion ke points aapne batane hain agar aap se incorporation ke puche to incorporation ke process ke points batane hain aur agar commencement of business certificate ke issue karne ke liye puche to aapko uske steps batane hain so we have to be very specific while answering the question there on so i hope you all have got through so take care